السلام علیکم ون سیکنڈ ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل ایجوکیشن ٹوڈے ویل ڈسکسنگ ہاؤ ٹو میک دس لنک بریکٹ دس کیچ از گیون ٹو یو لیٹ می شو یو فرسٹ وٹ آئی ٹرائڈ یس دیٹ سو ویل اسٹارٹ میکنگ اٹ by steps you will go to start this is Sketia mechanical design part design yeah you just name it part one okay sketch will be on xy plane so, so select xy plane and go to sketch option now first we will have this circle of 200 diameter add the constraints and set it to 200 diameter okay now after this this one circle of 75 diameter and this one circle of 20 diameter and they descend and the distance of this center to this center will be 200 diameter at constraints its diameter is 75 and it's again we will make another circle and its diameter is 20 millimeter and the distance of its center from this center will be 200 millimeter okay now you can select this by pressing the control button and also select this and mirror it with the vertical axis you see that this is same okay now we'll exit our go to our workbench and 3d now we'll select the option of this padding and you will have this spreading of 60 millimeter I will show you from the sketch that this is total 120 millimeter but I am setting only 60 millimeter but I will also use another option that is mirrored extent that will be 60 plus and 60 back and 60 60 will be 120 millimeter okay so this is okay I can set it to show you okay now again go to xy plane sketching option you can zoom it little bit for your convenience uh, then again draw again the circle your center circle and one another circle uh, from any other side set the constraints this will be 200 diameter and this will be 75 diameter millimeter and its distance from the center will be 200 millimeter okay now uh, the here you will be having line option from line option you will scale, uh, select the third option of by tangent line then select this circle and select this circle you will be automatically having a uh, tangent drawn okay then you have to again select this line and go to the mirror option but not selecting the mirror drop down the menu bar and you will be having this line 
and select that minus 15 I will tell you why I am having minus 15 if I will if I will be having min, uh, positive 15 it will be at this side and if I have minus 15 it will be 15 and from this line 15 millimeter but from this line on this side so this wall there is these both lines at the distance of 15 millimeter okay now you will be going to select again the corner and from corner option you will select the no trim option from this side and then have joined these curves by the radius of 10 millimeter and again selecting this corner no trim is already selected and this one and this one so this will also 10 millimeter now select the quick trim and remove the other part Okay, sorry. Mistakenly, there was some mistake. Now select the quick trim and remove the extra bar. Are you seeing this is what mid to join okay now again exit workbench you see this sketch have the padding of 30 millimeter with the mirror extent okay so from center it will go 30 millimeter here and 30 millimeter here so this will be okay uh, you can say that i could draw here 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 and then have the uh, spreading of this so that everything will be padded but i need this thing on the four sides i will draw it only for the first time if you have uh, if you need to draw it at the same time there will be certain problems of open shape so that is why I am doing it one by one now go to your sketch 2 and select these lines and go to mirror option and mirror it to the other three sides select these lines by pressing the control button now again mirror it with reference to the x-axis again select it and mirror it to the reference of vertical axis now go back and you will see that this is at every side it is made with the padding it is nice now you have to again go to xy plane and sketch option you will draw again a circle sixteen sorry two hundred diameter and again one side circle only you 
here is 75 millimeter and distance of this circle from the center to the other circle will be 200 as it is described earlier okay after this we will be seeing that we'll draw again the tangent lines and have this tangent and mirror it with reference to the x-axis again select the quick trim and remove the extra part you will see this uh, this going to the end like this now exit the workbench and have the padding for the 15 millimeter with the mirrored extent and press ok now I can show you this I need the same thing here. Now go to sketch three and select this, this, this thing, and this thing with the mirror to the vertical axis and exit your workbench. You see that we have got this. Now again go to extra plane and sketch option and select the circle. and draw with reference to that okay let me try another thing exit the workbench and chamfer it with 10 millimeter so now we go to the sketch so we have used this value we have used this value of diameter 75, diameter 20, and 15, and the distance and 200 diameter, and this padding of total 120, and from this to this there will be 60, and we use 30 with the mirror extent from this. For this we use 60 with the mirror extent, and for uh, this 10 millimeter. Uh, with a 45 degree chamfer we have done 45 degree was already written there we just added the 1 millimeter to 10 millimeter and we have chamfered it now you can say that uh, if we have chamfered this side we should do the other side or not you can see this this side is only chamfered and the other side is just a, a normal plain side so this is what we need to draw and we have and then I will just see you subscribe, like and share if you like this video. Thank you.